Right, welcome to day three of uh, HTC Touch Pro, uh, a week with. Um, now, yesterday we did a few of your questions. I'm going to try and do a few more today. Um, the first question is, uh, does the screen auto-rotate when you turn the device through 90 degrees without the keyboard open? Uh, no, it doesn't. You see, it only does that in certain applications. So, what I'll do, I'm just going to show you the interface itself, the TouchFlow 3D interface, because a lot of you may not have seen the videos of the HTC um, Diamond and so I'm going to show you the um, the main screen. Obviously here's the home screen. This is what you get whenever you press the home button. There's the clock and you press that and you go straight into the um, time settings and you can also set your alarm. So go into the alarm, set your alarms when you want to wake up etc. And there's several different alarms. You can give it a description. All very good. You got the call history, you whack that and you go into your call history, find out who you've called, who's called you, which calls you've missed, and etc, etc, etc. You can go into your calendar, you can see what important uh, appointments you've got due, you can go into the day view, you can go into the week view, the month view, and even the yearly view that way if you want, and you can see what's coming up in your life. Uh, we can also um, press down here on, uh, on the uh, navigation control, or you can just sweep up or down with your finger depending on what you want to do and you get a slightly smaller clock then and uh, you get a home screen with a bit more space at the bottom again this navigation control here you can use that to scroll through the options if you wish or you can use your finger on the screen which is what has been demoed quite a lot by people I can go into people here and you can add your favorite people uh, if you've used the original HTC um, sort of um, touch flow interface you'll be used to having one screen where all the contacts are so if I create a new contact as it, it, you may have seen there see how HTC have made these menus a lot bigger so it just aids the uh, finger touch um, functionality obviously with the keyboard it's easier for me to put um, contacts in so if I put in Again, ignore that. This is an early version of the ROM, so it keeps switching to camera shots every time I do that. But uh, if I go to uh, if I put John Smith, and I'm going to give him a work telephone number of uh, 0121100200, I'm going to save John Smith. Now, I hate the fact that it does this. This is one thing that... Uh, Winds me up about Windows Mobile more than anything. It, uh, it saves it the wrong way around with Smith John. I don't like that. But I'm going to give uh, John a picture. Now I can either choose from these predefined pictures here, um, which have saved onto um, the memory card, or I can take a picture of John and um, use the camera. So if John's here in the flesh, I can take a picture of John. Let's say John looks like my uh, microwave. Let's take a picture of, there you go, I've taken a picture of the sticker on the side of the microwave. So there you go, John is now uh, a microwave oven. Um, this by the way is the uh, interface which I'll show you in a moment, um, giving um, the options available when you slide the keyboard open. Um, but we're just going to go back into the contacts at the moment and we'll find John Smith. And there he is and he's got a lovely picture of a microwave. First thing I'm going to do is switch around the way his name is displayed because, as I mentioned, it drives me insane the way it's uh, saved in that manner. So, file save as John Smith. I'll switch it around. Click on OK. So there's my contact. And I'm going to save John Smith on my screen now. See, I've added him as a favourite. So if I add somebody else in now, menu, new contact, go in here, Sid Smith. And I'll give Sid a phone number, I'll just put 425 in there. I'll file his name as Sid Smith, I'll select a picture, let's have that one. Okay, so now on the main screen we've got uh, John Smith who looks like a microwave. And we've got Sid Smith, who just doesn't look like anybody. So we can either scroll up and down that way, or if you've got loads of contacts, you can use this uh, 
scroll bar on the side here instead. The, these contacts that you've got with the, the up and down key or by sliding your finger up and down there. You can also press all people and you can see all your contacts in a big row and you can slide up and down them using your finger up and down like that. Uh, we've got the um, messages function which shows you the text messages that you've received. You can also compose a new one. So I'm going to compose one right now and uh, we can use the John Smith contact that we've got there. Um, I can use my slidey out keyboard. Hello John. Carmel. How are things? It's very easy and quick to type out messages on here. You can send that out. Um, I'm going to send myself a, a test message now and we'll see how that comes up on the screen when I... there we go and you can see that the uh, light here at the bottom is lit up and it's pulsing you can just about see that I think on the phone on the, uh, yeah, on the front of the phone so we can turn the uh, phone on and then we can see that we've got one message a little green notification there so we go straight to messages and we can see it says um, well it's a blank message but we can also go down through our messages by pressing up and down or just gliding up and down on the screen like that um, we've also got email which we can look into just press right here we're going to the email and we can set up an account by going to the new account button down here going through the mail setup and uh, you can collect your pop email if you wish We've got the internet, which is, uh, uh, we mentioned uh, YouTube, I believe. Um, you can watch YouTube videos on there. And you can also, you've also got these favourites here that you can add, you can add your own favourites on if you wish. Now what I'm going to do here is show you the music section as well. So we've got music there and we can play various tunes on our phone. And we've also got the weather application. Oops. That was just playing the tune in the background, which happens to be a sound. Okay. So there's Paris. Um, there's Seattle. It's night time at the moment. Here's London. That's quite a nice day today. And Barcelona. Sunny, partly sunny. And Taipei. It's partly cloudy today. Um, we can always press down and we can get the five day weather forecast as well. And we can press today and go back to today's weather. It's in Tokyo. There's the weather forecast. Um, so add in new locations to the United Kingdom. This just makes it a lot easier to do. And other than that, we've got the settings and the programs.